welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new video. This is going to be a Poundland haul as you can tell by the title. I feel like it's been a long time coming, I haven't done one of these in ages. I needed to stock up on some essentials, so whilst I was there I had a good browse, picked up lots of things. This is probably going to be my biggest ever Poundland haul, so make sure if you haven't already, go pause this video, grab yourselves a drink, get cosy, get comfortable, grab the snacks, and let's get started with today's video. As with all of my latest Poundland hauls, I did pick myself up a £1 scratch card at the checkout, and this time I let the cashier pick out my scratch card, so I didn't even choose which one I went for she did so let's hope she's found me a good one i will be saving this till the end so if you want to see if i won anything then just stay tuned okay as always with my panland hauls there's no method to this madness although i am going to start on some treats because i've got my coffee ready it's hot it's fresh and i don't have any biscuits in the house but i did pick up some treats so why not show you them first and let's try them out on camera. I picked up these three dairy milk chocolate bars. I have seen these in supermarkets and they are doing some kind of uh, campaign at the moment where it is a vote to keep me campaign. So they have three different flavors. I don't know if they have any more. These are the only three I have come across. So at a pound each, you have to essentially vote to keep the flavor. I don't think the flavor that would be my preferred choice will be kept because it is this one chocolate. I love coffee, I love the flavour of coffee and I feel like it's a hit and miss with a lot of people. Let's run a little poll. I'm going to leave a card up in the corner so if you see that little eye button click on it and let's vote as to whether you are a coffee flavour fan or you'd rather have it banned. I love coffee flavour. They have the raspberry shortcake, that sounds delightful. And last but not least simply the zest this one is called, orange flavoured chocolate with almond caramel pieces and digestive biscuits. I also mentioned in a previous video about Zaflora bringing out a vanilla latte scent. They tweeted it on their page and they said if you could create any Zaflora scent, what would it be? So I don't actually know if it's a legit scent, although I do know they're working on a new one, Orange and Lime, which sounds amazing. So as soon as I see that in stores, you can bet I'm gonna be picking it up. I did also actually reply to the Zaflora tweet with, I think I said my dream scent, as well as the vanilla latte, would be something like a pumpkin spice latte in autumn. Who thinks they should bring out pumpkin spice? Oh my God, who else is so excited for autumn as well? I know that is gonna be a controversial thing, but I just can't wait for Christmas. <laughs> Anyway, let's try this. Oh look, it's got like a creamy middle. Mmm. Mmm. It's got biscuity pieces. I hope you guys have tea and biscuits as well so that you can appreciate this moment of bliss right now. <laughs> Another treat I got my hands on, some of you may have seen, these are new and they are white chocolate Cocoa Pops. Firstly, Cocoa Pops I'm a big fan of anyway, but white chocolate ones sound amazing. Now, the only thing I will say is the look of them, they look like Rice Krispies, which I'm not really a fan of, they're just a bit boring. So it'd be interesting to see what looks like Rice Krispies will probably taste very different. So I cannot wait to try this. These are actually two pounds, so just bear that in mind. Another foodie item I got my hands on were firstly some R. White's Lemonade, the Triangular Style Ice Pops, but they're in the freezer because I wanted one the other day. So they're in the freezer, but I did also pick up the Mr. Freeze Freeze Pops. This is just so reminiscent of my childhood. When I go to watch Tom play cricket on the weekends, there's always kids running around with these. When the sun is hot and you just want a treat or something cold and refreshing, these are perfect because they're not too bad for you and they're just a nice little refreshing snack to have. Another food item that I picked up, which I've never seen these before, but I have recently seen them in Poundland and they are the Walker's Mix-Ups. Have you guys ever seen these before? They do have... I think three different flavours, the cheese flavour, spicy flavour, and I can't remember the last one, it can't be meaty surely, maybe it is, ooh. I went for the cheesy flavour, and they essentially are a mixer of all of these different classic Walker's crisps. The last of the kitchen kind of items, the food items, is this. This is Coffee Mates, which I'm sure a lot of you will know what it is anyway, but it's essentially a creamer. I tend to choose this over milk because obviously milk has a shelf life of a couple of weeks or whatever. This will just last 
until you've used it up pretty much. And I always remember asking my friend once when I was making as a coffee, I said, do you want coffee mate? And she's like, oh yeah mate. And I was like, no, do you want coffee mate? Yeah mate. <laughs> Maybe it was a be that moment. Okay, this next item, although it's not a food item, it is kind of a kitchen related item. You may have seen on my recent vlog, or one of my recent vlogs, I baked my own banana bread and for the life of me, could not find our loaf tin. So, added it to my shopping list, picked one up in Poundland and it is a two pound non-stick loaf tin. So, it's not the biggest, but for me personally, whenever I make banana bread, which is rare, but when I do, this size is fine. And then I've never used them, I'd usually just line it with greaseproof paper or grease it with some butter or oil but they have these loaf tin and they are suitable for two pound loaf tin so they fit perfectly this is a pack of 15 loaf tin liners so I thought that was going to be really handy to save a bit of time and for only pound for 15 I think that's pretty reasonable okay next up I have some stationary items then I have a whole tub full of cleaning items Mrs Hinch would be proud and then I also have a bit of a beauty section I've bought quite a few beauty bits but I'm going to start firstly with these stationery and the first thing that I picked up were these highlighters pack of eight chunky highlighters from the home and office range at Poundland and honestly it was the colours that drew me to this how pretty are all these pastel kind of shades I am a stationery lover I have been since my school days I was that girl with every single smelly gel pen i am just such a fan of stationery it gives me such pleasure to write a list and tick it all off i also picked up a card i have mentioned before that i keep a card box just to have a stockpile that way you don't feel pressure to just buy a card last minute and it's actually got a bit of meaning it's a card that you enjoy and you like i'm explaining a lot about a card right now i don't feel like it needs that much explanation either way i have a stockpile of cards this is going to be added to it this is one of those cards that could be used for several things. Just a simple thinking of your card, but it could also be like a word sympathy card. Anyway, it is this beautiful, almost watercolour painting type print with thinking of you on, beautiful cloud and rainbow design. Your thoughts of that with love today and always. I just thought that was so cute. And then I also picked up a pack of two large gift bags. I've seen this bag so many times in Poundland and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna have to get it. I kind of wish this two pack was two of these, but the other one is pretty basic. I mean, it's all right. It's just a happy birthday one with a kind of like splash effect on the front, but it was this one in particular that says eat more cake on this kind of letterboard design pink very instagrammable one that i just think is so adorable oh and then last but not least on stationery a little bit boring but sharpie pen i use these for whenever i'm sending out depop bits or ebay bits or anything like that sharpies are just always the best and one pound for a sharpie Pretty reasonable okay let's move on to beauty now and then I'll end on cleaning the first thing I got is this shampoo and conditioner set this is from the expel hair care range I've seen them do these in different scents I think there's a banana one but I went for the ginger I'm gonna take off this orange label I did actually test it in the shop just to make sure it peels off easily and it does so I'm gonna be left kind of with this it looks quite minimal and neat and could even refill these oh if you could please go into pound and smell this if you like ginger that smells so nice it smells like i could drink it to be honest with you i like ginger shots is that weird and then i also got this to kind of go alongside it i feel like the minimal Jo malone-esque design it's definitely a dupe for Jo malone isn't it citrus has bath and shower gel I feel like everyone dupes Jo Malone now. Aldi have them, Lidl, Primark, Poundland. More than anything, it's probably the design that is really nice. You don't necessarily need the expensive stuff all the time. I mean, it doesn't smell as good as Jo Malone, but it smells fresh. Citrus herbs, smells all right. Next up, I picked up this Nivea Soft Moisturizer. I first tried this a while back now. Sometimes if I go overboard with my face and skincare routine and use too many products, it almost breaks me out. So on those times that I'm feeling like I'm having a breakout, or sometimes if it's time of the month, I'll have more of a breakout, 
If I just strip it back to micellar water to remove my makeup and this Nivea Soft Moisturiser for a pound, then my skin seems to bounce back to normal straight away. So if you are struggling with skin issues, maybe strip it back and maybe use less products. Simple micellar water, like I said, to remove all your makeup, make sure it is all removed. And then a simple moisturiser. And it always seems to work for me. So sometimes it's better to just stick to what you know. I did pick up this hand towel, which is 50 by 80 centimeters in white. They did have different colors available. And I thought for a pound, this is just gonna be a handy one to throw in the bathroom. And I just thought that would go on our towel rail quite nicely against our other white towels that we have. And then I got this scrub a dub dub hemp exfoliating three piece set, which I thought would be quite nice to have even on display maybe on our bath tray or just hanging up in the shower. I also got this with the intention of helping scrub off fake tan. I did also pick up these and I don't know how well they're going to work but Tom has been suffering with hay fever recently so I got some allergy relief film coated tablets and then I also got these hay fever relief wipes so it removes and traps pollen which I thought would be quite a good idea to have in his cricket bag because obviously when you're playing cricket you're outside and when the pollen season is rife and it seems to hit him really hard then maybe after cricket he can use these wipes to just make sure it's all off him. He probably won't use them let's be honest but I'm just going to throw these in his bag and on those days that he's particularly suffering he might be grateful for these and he might give them a try. And then last but not least for the beauty part of this video, I picked up one of their new makeup brushes. They have a range of new makeup brushes from their makeup range. They've got these little jewels in the handles. I picked up this eyeshadow brush. I feel like it's a good blending brush size. If you are after some new makeup brushes, then maybe head to Poundland and try them out. They've got all different sizes and shapes. So yeah. Let's end on some cleaning products. Why does cleaning excite me? Honestly, before this cinch, I was never a cleaning fan. And now I love it. I've got like my own little cleaning collection stash downstairs and you should see my Zaflora collection. Firstly, I'm just gonna start with this tub because obviously it's the main thing on show right here. I have got three of these to go under our sink and organise. I did also pick up two more, which I've used in our spare bedroom for some shoe storage. I did a little before and after of a huge shoe clear out over on my Instagram home account. And yeah, for only a pound a tub, and it's got handles as well on the side. These are just really handy to have. I picked up this Glade Shake and Vac, which I saw in Lily of the Valley. This one I've had previously, and it's all right. It's the only scent I've ever tried, but then I saw it in fresh lemon and also there was Madagascan vanilla but I think I prefer lemon so I was kind of regretting that I'd already got this one but you know what I'm gonna use it up and I can just keep one as a spare for now I also picked up this 1001 carpet fresh this one is in white linen and no it's not it's in fresh linen and white flowers never tried this scent before the first time I ever tried this was the last can that I had and it was a spring kind of scent <sighs> one pound for this i thought that was really reasonable so it picked up this window cleaner and it is a three-in-one squeegee squeegee with spray bottles so essentially you take off this red cap here put in some kind of window cleaner and then you just pop your finger through here and spray it obviously it's empty at the minute spray it and then you can just wipe wipe and it also got me thinking that i wouldn't mind one of these like a chrome one for in our bathroom for the shower so any recommendations on where I, I mean these are just going to be for like outside and inside the windows so one for our shower which i can use with glass cleaner let me know any recommendations of where you spotted some nice chrome ones i can maybe just keep in the shower hung up i also picked up these which i can't remember whose channel i saw this on it was some kind of speed clean video and they used these flash magic erasers these were two pounds and there's only two in there, so kind of expensive. Like, I hope these work. This house hasn't been painted since Tom bought it, so about six, seven, maybe even eight years ago. And so, like, before I even met him. And there's a lot of marks on all the walls, which, to be honest with you, it probably needs a repaint. 
But for now, I'm gonna try using these magic erasers to kind of remove all the little marks that are on the walls. I also picked up this Hob Bright for sparkling clean hobs. This is for electric, ceramic, halogen, and induction. This I've never tried before. What I'll usually do with our bins is just spray some diluted Zeflora or soak a kitchen towel in some Zeflora and put that in the bottom of the bin. But I thought this was quite a good idea as well. It's called Nutridol and it is a bin odor destroyer and citrus fresh. So whether it be your outdoor bins, your indoor bins, you can sprinkle this as and when you're filling up the bin or once it's full, once it's empty, to just help eliminate any gross bin odor. Soda crystals, I need to clear out our plugs in our shower. And also for uh, the kitchen sink, these are really good as well. You can just sprinkle some of these soda crystals in the plug hole and then pour hot water down and it just flushes out the plug holes. You can also use these, which I've noticed in washing machines to clean them out. Last but not least, kind of annoying there wasn't a neutral colour to fit in with my neutral theme. I went for blue and look at this. Woohoo! So this is like a little duster and it will just allow me to reach up in the corners to get any cobwebs or like dust top surfaces, like high up surfaces. These lights as well can be a bit of a nightmare to get up the top and love it. The head comes off which you can just pop in the wash if you need to. Time for scratch card. Cash in the box. 150 grand worth of cash price. Let me get a penny. Match three prizes to win. Two pound, one pound, four pound, three pound, four pound, 20 pound, two pound, one pound, three pound. No. Bonus game, find a stack of money to win. No win. Maybe next time. Thank you so much for watching this Poundland haul. Again, thumbs up if you liked it and if you want to see more and I will hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yay. As with all of my latest prep, Primark, let's start that again. As with all of my, as with all of my, and this time I let the cash ear, cash ear, cash ear, simply the zest, excuse me, coffee, chocolate coffee, no, what am I talking about? Maybe if you're a coffee lover fan, if you're a coffee fan, with my, I, I did also, okay, another treat that I picked up, let me just chuckle and I'll watch chocolate in my teeth. I'll tell you what I'll do. When I fry, when I fry. The last of the, I'd say, consumable items. No, not consumables, like foodstuffs, kitchen product, products, products. Oh. The last of the, the last of the kitchen. Am I okay? Let me have another sip of coffee. I feel like I need it today. I tend to use this instead of milk. If I buy a milk, it tends to go out pretty quickly. Ow. Oh. And every single... I was that girl in school. I was that girl in school. Oops. I was that girl in school with every single gel pen and in every single smelly... I was that girl in school that I will use the... So I will use what so I will use whatever I've got for Tom. So I have a lot of a lot of other brands. I have like I have a lot of brands like this is then my skincare then my skin so that you can so that we can have so that we can have like so we can have the bath chat. This would be quite nice to have Oh, hiccups. Maybe on the bath on the shower trolley on the shower. Blending brushes are the ones that I like to have a variety of most. Most. They're the ones I'm most likely to, they're the ones I most like to have a larger variety of, if that makes sense. I also picked up a Bright Hob Power, Hob Bright. Thanks, Foe. 